been hearing from people and have they been embracing the message that you're bringing to them? Absolutely. It's been a very, people have been very, very receptive. In fact, people were asking me, why did I choose to run the district level race instead of just going straight for the congressional race? And they've been saying, you've been working on that level all along. You know, actually, you should have been running for that seat all along. All along. But, you know, there again, it's just a matter of really wanting to serve my district in a more broader way. But they're very excited. Of course, this is the year of the woman. And so we know that women know how to get it done. And I'm just really grateful for the, the women that are supporting me, building this really great campaign foundation for me. Because I think these women know and understand that we are usually the center, the center and the focus of our families and our communities. You know, we have our pulse on what's happening in our families and our communities and also the nationwide. So I expect that there will be a lot of help and support from women but definitely people that just want to make sure that we're putting a person in Washington to represent their interests that has an inclusive and diverse focus. When you've been going to D.C. to Congress for for hearings and things like that, what have you seen out of Congress? What, What do you think we could be doing? What could Congress be doing to sort of come together a little bit more and, and work together better? Of course, when I've been on the Hill, when I've been in Washington, I've just seen a, a great deal of polarization and divisiveness. And, you know, when that happens in Washington, you know, it, it nothing gets accomplished. The people are the ones that seem to get hurt. Nothing is accomplished. Um, when there's a lot of chaos coming out of Washington, it makes it very hard to understand and know, you know, where the country's going and how, you know, how is this going to um what are the implications of this chaos and, and, and polarization? Of course, you know, implications are is that, you know, people get hurt. I think people are very concerned about the economy. You know, people are very concerned about actually being able to thrive from day to day. And when we see what's happening in Washington, when there is no particular vein of a consistent kind of policy agenda coming out of Washington, people are afraid. They're afraid. They're looking for stability. And so that's the reason why the reason why we have to make sure that we're putting people in office that will offer a sense of stability to the, the important policy decisions that need to be made. You know, very concerned about the fact that, you know, when we're getting our foreign policy from tweets every single day, I mean, that makes people uneasy. And I think that people are looking for, you know, just they're just looking for consistency. They're looking for a vote of confidence that they can have in our administration. Well, I don't want to keep you too long because I know that your schedule running for Congress is very busy, very packed. (laughs) But is there anything else that you would like people to be thinking about or to know about you or or anything else? Well, what I want people to know is, is that, you know, all of their concerns, a lot of that has been my own reality. I have been a single mother trying to figure out from day to day how I was going to make ends meet. I'm a two-time breast cancer survivor, so I understand how important it is that we all have access to good health care. My son Jordan was gunned down unnecessarily because of an, an expansive and dangerous gun culture. I understand how important it is for us to find some common sense solutions. You know, I, I just want to make sure that people understand and know that, you know, educating our children should be our number one priority. My son, Jordan, I ended up homeschooling him because I didn't want him to go to a Title I school, failing school. Not everyone has those options, but I did have that option. And our children should be able to be educated in their own community and get the best education that they can. I am a woman who, number one, I'm a woman. And as I said before, I am a, a minority and I will fight tooth and nail to make sure that no one in my state and in particular in the country is discriminated against because of their ethnicity or their religion. We're one nation under God and we need to make sure that everyone in this country can live the way the Constitution says they should be afforded to live. And in Washington, I intend to do my best to represent, you know, not only just my neighbors, and those people that I live with in the 6th Congressional District, but making sound decisions that are inclusive for all of America. Well, I love that. And I, I'm i really excited about your campaign. And 
we're going to do everything we can to amplify your message. So thank you so much for all the work that you do and and for running for office and, and really taking on this this mantle of service. Thank you so much, Kelly. And I couldn't have done what I'm doing now without the help from Moms Demand Action and Every Town for Gun Safety. They kind of have been the catalyst to put me on this road, so I'm very grateful. And one final quick question. I think I saw that you like motorcycling in your in your limited spare time. So <laughs> what kind of bike do you ride? Well, actually, I used to have a Ninja myself, and I actually sold that bike. But I do ride. We have a Harley. It's an ultra glide. I ride on the back of that with my husband. I no longer ride my own. I just like sitting on the back and breathing in the fresh air and just letting my mind go free just for those few moments that we're riding. I don't have to think about anything. I can just be free. Well, good luck with your campaign. And thank you so much for talking to me. Thank you. You have a great day. You too. Thanks for listening to Two Broads Talking Politics. Our theme song is called Are You Listening? off the album Elephant Shaped Trees by the band Imunari. And we're using it with express permission of the band. Our logo and all original artwork is by Matthew Wefflin and is done expressly for Two Broads Talking Politics. We can be found on our website at twobroadstalkingpolitics.com. You can reach us by email at twobroadstalkingpolitics at gmail.com, on Twitter at Two Broads Talk, on Facebook and Instagram, and you can support us on patreon.com. You can find our podcast on Apple Podcast, Stitcher, Google Play, Spotify, iHeartRadio, TuneIn, and anywhere podcasts are found. If you are interested in advertising on Two Broads Talking Politics, please email us at twobroadstalkingpolitics at gmail.com.